Hi. <laughs> Hi. Just strumming a casual guitar, are we, Niall? Yeah, it's just showing off. Obviously, it's been a huge press week. I've seen you at pretty much every station in the UK. Congratulations on the new song. Thank you. Yeah. Has it been? Have you slept? Uh, mm, no. <laughs> no. No. Not one bit. We filmed the TV show last night, so we were, that was late, and then we were back up this morning for more promo. So it's been it's been a it's been a long week. We did a couple of bits earlier in the week as well. And it's just been, um, and obviously Anne Marie's got an, an album coming out, so she's pressed up to her eyeballs. She's done, <laughs> done the countdown is on. July, July's just around the corner now. You guys, this is your first time writing together, but this is like you guys. I, I imagine you seem to have known each other for eighty years with the chemistry mm -hmm. you two have. How did you guys originally meet? Like, was it through music? Was it through friends? How did that happen? We kind of uh, like seen each other at things. As I've said before, the, the music industry is quite transient so there's a lot of just like bumping into each other at bits and pieces um, and the fact that we make this make music in the same country it's probably the only thing we had in common beforehand <laughs> um, but uh, yeah we just kind of it kind of just happened and then I just said to her do you want to do you want to write in the studio and usually when you have those conversations it doesn't come to fruition so it was good to actually get in the room and um, yeah. change because a lot of you for when when everyone's touring if you say let's go into the studio it never happens yeah like uh, mm. I mean, people have we said it to, to i've said it about other artists previously and we've just never got into the studio so it was nice to actually get in with amory and and being fans of each other it was a nice thing to do it was my first um real life studio session since the pandemic started really so it was the perfect start back yeah it was lovely I was going to say, it's like in in theory, one thing to work together well, but you guys actually on paper and musically work together well. So how nice of a treat that is. Yeah, no, we got lucky there too, because we're quite different musically. Mm. Um, uh, obviously, Anne-Marie's got more of an electric, like electronic influence than I would. Um, and I'd be more guitar, guitar driven kind of pop, I suppose. Both pop, obviously. Um, but kind of different types of sounds so we were lucky that it all kind of fell into place we didn't really have to think about it too much it was kind of Anne-Marie's drums my guitars it was kind of very <laughs> it actually kind of fell right into place and um, we both like each other's voices and we we're I didn't realize how much we'd actually blend and even when I listened to the song now it kind of it sounds kind of vo vocally it sounds kind of like meant to be really but mm. like, we got we just got lucky overall really because those things can go very wrong yeah <laughs> meant to be i i love that and i mean the song is is just incredible but like let's talk about the video for a second you like that's where that chemistry comes in you guys just look like you're having an absolute blast how much fun was that to shoot it's wild yeah it's exactly what it looked like in the video to be honest it was it was fun because it was me driving <laughs> And that was quite scary at times, but <laughs> overall, we were both safe and still alive to tell this story. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing video. And it's funny because um, when we first got the, the edit back, it was quite, um, I think Niall said this before, it was quite narrative driven, like mm -hmm. where they were trying to set a scene and acting almost and and we we were like where are the parts where we're just laughing and having fun and you know the outtakes almost so the video ended up being mostly outtakes of us just laughing at each other <laughs> and that, that's it really i feel like that if that is any indication you two would be a blast to party with like if that's what you guys are like in a music video like going out with you would just would be nuts and i actually wanted to ask since you know things have opened a little bit quicker i saw that you guys were doing in-person uh, interviews last week in the uk and and pubs etc opening have you had any chances to celebrate this past week like irl in real life because you deserve it uh not really no we we, we did an interview the other day where they gave us a drink <laughs> And that was that was uh, <laughs> that was a, that was a bit of a laugh. Amory uh, had uh, one Malibu and Coke and was <laughs> away with it. Whoa! Yeah. And, that, uh, was, that was our celebration. That one drink. Yeah. In on, an interview. On the release day. Yeah. Aww. Uh, but we will. Um, yeah, we do. To be fair, we we live on opposite sides of town, and it's this city is huge. I don't know if you've ever been to London before. 
so that's that's probably half the reason but uh we have been also crazily busy doing mm. bad hours for different shoots and different tv shows and stuff so last night when we finished at half 10 I was, there was no way i was going anywhere but home so John. <laughs> yeah um so we will do at some point um yeah it'd be nice to I just have to go and finish my album first. When though. it goes to number one, we can celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- yeah, I think everyone. you can plan on that. You can plan accordingly on that, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do it, Canada. Let's do it. <laughs> well, there's plenty to celebrate. I mean, Niall, you just mentioned, like, you're going to finish up your new album. Um, Anne-Marie, congratulations. Brand new album coming out in July. Cannot wait for that. Also, some live in the flesh tour dates going to be happening. So, like, is this when things are finally starting to happen? How do you guys feel about that? How's it going to feel to hit the road again? Ugh. Well, touring is one of my favorite things out of the whole job. Not like, that, yeah, that's that's just I love it. I and that's where we really get our. I don't know what the word is, but you know, where if you're in another job, say if you're a doctor, and you get that sense of like you're doing good, you you're yeah. getting that every day. And with us, without touring, we don't really feel like we're doing well. We're yeah. just releasing music and like, hmm, let's see what what's going on I hope people like it and then when we tour and we actually see people enjoying the music that's what gives us that feeling you know so not touring for me is one of the worst things that I've had to go through over this pandemic but yeah luckily hopefully next year will be the year where you wouldn't be able to go a week without seeing someone probably because everyone is going to be touring next year so um, I'm going to fit in my tour sometime next year so yeah can't wait for that yeah no, i'm 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 oh, i can't wait it's my, i feel about my most comfortable on stage you, when you're writing songs sometimes i write songs um like feeling like i'm in an in an arena or whatever mm. there and, and you you start thinking about the catchiest parts of the song because you want to hear them back you know and you know whatever, whatever that hook may be um and you only get that feedback when you go on tour as Anne-Marie says, because you're just watching numbers fly around on Spotify and radio charts and stuff like yeah. that. Mm. Whereas actually, once you get out on the road, you see it and you hear you it. Feel it. It's a great yeah. feeling too. Like if you like, like I, I'm not, I'm sure Anne-Marie heard it too. Like that feeling of spending time on a song and it meaning a lot to you, and then yeah, and you know, correlating themselves with that song and then singing that back to you. And it, it's, it sounds so cliche because every artist says it, but it's actually fact. It's actually, a, it's, a, it's an amazing, if you care about your own music, it's a great feeling to mm. hear it being sung back in, a, in an arena with lights and, you know, actual people. So I'm, I am very excited about that. I love it. I, I know that we can't wait to see you both back on the road, especially, you know, performing this this brand new song. Um, I want to play, we have a couple minutes left. You guys are fun and silly and wild, so I'd love to play a little game with you. Is, is that cool? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's called because we're we're still we're still in the pandemic, still through a screen, guys. This is called Secrets Through the Screen. You ready? I'll get a catchy graphic. All right. <laughs> so Secrets Through a Screen. Uh, we'll start with you first. You guys both answer each of these questions. Something weird you found out about the other person during the video shoot. I don't think so. Niall can spot a paparazzi through the woods. <laughs> there was paparazzi in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. They were they were hiding behind the trees and I had no idea. I was just like, Whirr! and he was like, there's a paparazzi, there's a paparazzi. So he's got, he's got the eye. I have been told that I've got a good eye for that stuff. Yeah. I remember. Keep an eye. I like that. Yeah, I can't think of anything weird. Why? Why? This is weird. Nothing really weird happened on the shoot, to be fair. No, no, it was so good. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, Amory can't drink coffee. That's another that's <laughs> one thing I know. Like, that's just in general. She just doesn't, like, coffee doesn't. Just, Don't give me coffee. Like, it. It. And when she does have it, it sends her mad. So, like most of us. Yep. I probably yeah. Probably don't need to lunatic anyway. Um, an article of clothing that you should probably burn because you've worn it so much through the pandemic. What, what was your article of clothing? Um, Mine are my sweatpants. They've got to go. Ugh. I have a uh, uh, a sweat a sweater of um, Julia Michaels merch from 2018 when I toured with her, and it's just a. Uh, it's, she's got a tattoo on her on her chest here, and it says "Speak Up" uh, in her in someone's handwriting. I'm not sure actually who it is. Um, but she put it on a merch sweater, and she and obviously I was touring with her a few years ago, and I had this, and I just wear it 
all the time. It's one of my favorite colors, and I just wear it all the time and wear it the whole way through the pandemic. Um, so yeah. I love it, Emery. Um, mine is the biggest oversized T-shirt ever. I wore it nearly every day. Good girl. So that yeah. needs to go. <laughs> to burn it. It stinks. Yeah. The last person I texted too much was Niall. <laughs> <laughs> I I have been no. Do you know what I go through? I've actually explained this to Niall. Every now and again in, during the month. Not even the month, you, the week you probably think, but on a <laughs> on a random couple of days, yeah. I am a, I am so intense. So I text Niall so much, and I ended up having to apologise because I was like, just forgive me. This will only be for a couple of days a month. Yeah, and then I'll be back to normal. <laughs> so it's in a couple of months. I feel you. I get you. Yeah, I get you. Uh, yeah. Um, he's been texting me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about this? The food that I ate way too much of during lockdown was, I'm, I'm a nacho gal, I need to stop. Mm. Um, bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just Feel bread, yeah. toast, sandwiches, bagels, just any, yeah, any form of that. Yeah. Need to get rid of that. What about you, Niall? I ate quite well during lockdown, but it was always chicken. Oh, a chicken man. Sick of chicken now. Honestly. You're done. Yeah, when it comes up now, I'm like, I'd do anything to not eat chicken. <laughs> the last time I cried was? Um, I, nearly I, cried think... in, I nearly cried in a hangover a couple of weeks ago that was rough. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I cry every day. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> About... I, I, yeah, I don't know why. But I just love a little cry, whether it's a TV advert or a conversation I'm having with my friend or a tweet that I've seen or a video. I'm I'm just very emotional. Yeah, I love it. I love crying. Yeah, I, I'll, it's therapeutic. I'll... Yeah. yeah. I, I drank uh, 12 pints of Guinness, ate a Papa John's <laughs> pizza and had two packets of noodles the other night and then woke up and was like, what the hell did I do last night? Oh. And then it was like, I <laughs> And then more. you woke up to text from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like I've learned a lot about your crying habits. Uh, you know, yeah. Niall, yours sounds like a rough night, so hopefully you're healing. You're healing well. Uh, I know you guys have a ton of interviews to get to today, and I just want to wish you continued success. You guys are both just magnificent, and Thanks I like love you for taking the time to talk to us. Of course. Thank, Thank you. you. So hope to see you soon.